Bro, congratulations on your victory. Uh, a big one for you, USC debut. What's the uh, what's the feel like that? Right, I know it was a, a difficult fight. Uh, hello, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it was a difficult fight. You know, he he is a good opponent. Uh, he was a good opponent, and um, uh, I wasn't happy with my performance. You know, the Guram I know is uh, another level. You know, it's a different Guram, um, but uh, it is what it is today. You know, but with the God's will, we get the win, um, and. Uh, yeah, and this is not like a guy was undefeated still, you know, but uh, and like two, uh, two times, like two weight classes, two divisions, like a champion, but still, you know, for, for Guram, it doesn't really matter. Um, but that's, that's what happens. Did you have any hesitation taking this fight? I mean, for your first fight in the UFC, as you said, he had an no, impressive no, resume. No, never, never, never. I, uh, excuse me, I interrupt you straight away, but <laughs> that's uh, uh, never hesitation, never. Yeah. Uh, whoever my manager tell me, and uh, if if I get the name in the message, you know, or on the phone or on the phone call, I say yes straight away, and. Uh, so it's not really my job to say yes or no. I say yes on everything. And that's why I have my manager, Mighty, you know, and, uh, and uh, that's the guy who, who does his job, you know, who chooses the guys for me or, uh, yeah, whatever his job is. <laughs> he knows it better. <laughs> It was a very entertaining fight. I know you said it wasn't what you expected, but it was, it was entertaining. It was back and forth. When it was over, did you think you had won? Did, did you think you had done enough to take the decision? Um, I have to rewatch the, uh, re re the fight, you know, together with my team and look at the details. But as I felt and I, as I saw the fight when I was there, you know, it's always different when you're in the octagon and, and see and feel, but it's different when you look from the side, you know. Uh, my coaches, you know, keep on screaming to me, like, uh, keep active, keep on doing this, keep on doing that, you know. But uh, probably I get too, like, overexcited, you know, because of my first UFC debut and my arms get heavy, you know, my legs get heavy. But it's all about experience, you know. I learn, I try to improve every day, every fight. And uh, I'm going to stop improving all, and I'm going to rest only when I die, you know. And uh, but till then, I have to keep on moving. As of now, your career is kind of linked with Hamza Shimaev. Moving forward, is that okay? Do you mind being linked together, or do you hope to be treated separately and, and have your own path? <laughs> Hamza Shimaev is my brother. It's uh, there is no no talk needed, you know. I'm so happy, you know, like, if I need to give him all my money and all, all my fame or whatever I have, all my followers, it's not much, but I'm going to give this guy everything if it makes him happy, you know. And I'm 100% sure he's going to do the same for me, you know. This is different relationship. It's not just a teammate relationship, you know. The guy asked me, hey, man, after after his after his this is like something private you know we talk if your family if your mother and father needs money we're gonna send the money you know brother this is this is completely different level you know so uh, there is no no discussions about that Very nice. last thing for me i know you said you don't care the names whatever you do with Sarah, but ideally what would happen next for you do you want to fight again quickly do you need some time off to, to rest i interrupt you here again you that's know? okay anytime <laughs> Uh, I know that Islam Makhachev don't have opponent, you know, next weekend. And uh, I'm here and I'm ready to fight. You know, maybe I'm going to rest this evening, I'm going to rest tomorrow. And the uh, day after that, I uh, get to work again and start dropping weight again. I'm not stupid, you know, I know probably Islam wants like, uh, with all the respect, you know, nothing, nothing like uh, rude or something like that, disrespectful. I know I'm not stupid, but he wants probably like top 15, top 10 guys, and I'm like the build guy. But still, if something, I'm here and I'm ready. 
I'm over here. Uh, I think in the first round, it seems like Gamrot had injured his hand at some point. Were you aware of that? And if, if so, did, could you, did you think you could take advantage of it? Uh, I didn't really notice that, sorry. <laughs> and then you also found a great success, especially with your kicking. It seems like at one point, every time he would try to close the distance, you would connect with a kick. Is that something you specifically knew you could take advantage of against Gamrot? If you watch my fights, you know, that's something, that's one of the weapons I use, you know, often, like, like usually I use my boxing too, you know, I'm not bad in wrestling and ground too, you know, but because I'm mixed martial artist and I'm trying to be as, as much complete as possible. Uh, but today was a day, you know, and everything that happens, you saw it already. Uh, and as I said, I'm gonna get back to the gym or uh, I'm gonna get back to work again with my team and keep on improving on every aspect that uh, exists there.